Hello, Scorpios, Moon Rising and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So, Scorpio, today we're going to pick up on your energy and whatever comes out, comes out. We could end up picking up on your energy or somebody that you're energetically connected to. It could be a love message that we might get or a career message, but I guess we'll see what ends up happening. So let's get started for Scorpio. Hmm. Somebody refuses to leave you alone. That's like the first thing that came to my mind. Somebody refuses to leave you alone. I feel like you're making it very obvious that you're done with this individual and that you don't want anything to do with them. I feel like you're making it very, very obvious. It's like every time they call you or text you, you don't respond back. You know what I mean? Um... You know, every time they call you or text you, even if they call you or text you from a different number, like, I feel like you're very quick to, like, block that number and just keep it moving. Like, I feel like you're making it abundantly clear to someone that you don't want to talk to them, that you don't want anything to do with them. And the crazy part of this all is that I feel like this person that's trying to, like, contact you and get a hold of you, it's somebody who clearly knows you don't want anything to do with them but they're still calling you and texting you either which way is basically what I'm getting. Like, they know you don't want anything to do with them. You know, they know that you're obviously ignoring them. They know that you're trying to do everything that you can to avoid them and not talk to them. You know what I mean? Like, they, they know, you know what I mean? But they're still trying to talk to you either which way, even though they know you don't want anything to do with them is basically what I'm getting. But I don't feel like you want anything to do with this person. Yeah, I feel like you don't want anything to do with this person. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. We got the Page of Pentacles. And then we also have the Nine of Wands out here. Mm. You know, I feel like you find yourself, Scorpio, in a much better place now than you did when you were dealing with them is basically what I'm getting. Is basically what I'm getting. And I feel like that's what causes you to not want to revisit this connection because I feel like you've noticed how much your life has drastically changed for the better since you stopped talking to this person, since you stopped involving yourself um, with this person is basically what I'm getting. And I feel like when you were talking to this person, when you were involved with this person, um, you know, I feel like you instantly notice that drastic shift within you and that drastic shift that you notice within you it it was definitely a drastic shift for the worst and this is me talking when uh, talking about when you were dealing with this person versus now that you're not dealing with them again i feel like you find yourself in a much better place um now than you did when you were dealing with this person i feel like when you were dealing with this person you felt really really overwhelmed i'm also getting like an energy of you feeling misunderstood um but i'm also getting an energy of you feeling um, just very burdened, I would say, by them and, and, and your relationship with them. Okay, tell me more about the Knight of Wands. There could very well be an air sign trying to get a hold of you. So a Gemini, Libra, maybe even an Aquarius. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case. Maybe a Virgo. Um, I am getting strong Libra and Sag energy, though. You know what's interesting um, is that I feel, how do I, how do I explain what they're doing here? Um, again, I feel like this person knows that you're done with them and that you don't want anything to do with them. And I feel like you're making it abundantly clear that you're done with them and that you don't want anything to do with them. Okay. I feel like they know this, right? But I feel like they're falling into this energy of like, okay, okay, okay. I'm just going to call Scorpio one more time. I'm just going to text Scorpio one more time, just one more time. And if they don't, text me back or call me back i swear on everything i love i'm gonna leave them alone like for real for real this time but i feel like that's what they tell themselves every time they try to get a hold of you and contact you is kind of what i'm getting that this time is going to be the last time and then they turn around and they contact you again and they fall back into this energy of no i promise this time is going to be the last time i call them this is going to be the last time that i chase after them this is going to be no this this time is going to be the time that for real, for real, like if they don't call me back, if they don't text me back, I'm I, I, I'm going to leave them alone. But I feel like the last time is always the last time for them. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's basically what I'm getting. This rejection, dude, that they're experiencing from you, honey, they don't like it. You want to know why they don't like it? Because they're not used to getting rejected by anybody. They're not used to getting rejected by anybody. They're not. You don't understand what this does to this person's ego. You just don't understand Scorpio. <laughs> you don't understand what this does to their ego. You don't. 
You just don't. This really does bother their soul that you, you, you are deciding to ignore them. You're deciding to not text them back. You're deciding to not call them back. It really bothers your soul. It really, really does. Because they're not used to getting rejected by anybody. They're not. They're not used to um, chasing people. They're used to people fucking chasing them. And here they are. Here you got this one over here chasing you, constantly blowing your phone up. You know what I mean? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine, you know what I mean, how this person must be feeling right now? Mm. They're all over the place, honey. They are all over the place. They're all over the damn place. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Okay. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's roll with it. We have the two of wands. We have the queen of cups. And then we also have the seven of swords. Okay. Um, this is interesting. This is interesting. Um, okay. Okay. So this person feels like the reason why you're ignoring them, the reason why you're not calling them back, texting them back, emailing them back, writing them a whole fucking letter back and everything. Um, it's because you have feelings for them and you're, the feelings that you have for them scares the hell out of you. And this is why you're doing what you're doing. Now, I'm going to be honest. Do I think that that's what's really going on here? That you're just running away from how you feel about this human being? No, I, I'm not I'm not getting that. I'm sorry. I'm not fucking getting that, okay? Um, I'm not getting that whatsoever. I'm just not getting that whatsoever. Um, but they seem to think that that's, that's, that, that's, that's why, Scorpio, you're running away from them. It's because you have feelings for them, and the feelings that you have for them scare the hell out of you. Mm-hmm. That's what they think. Mm hmm. Yep. That's what they think. You know what they also think? That it's only a matter of time before you decide to start running after them. Now, do I see that happening? No, I don't see that happening, but that's what they think is going to end up happening. Now, granted, there's a huge possibility that in the past, you know, you could have ran in the opposite direction of this person due to, you know, you not wanting to essentially face how you really feel about them. That's a possibility. Maybe in the past, that's just something that you did, right? You would run away from them just to not confront how you really feel about this person. That's a possibility. There's also a possibility that, um, you know, you could have um, went a while without talking to them and then eventually you'll resurface back up here for them, causing to think, you know, that you're going to come back you know, to them eventually, um, because that's what they think. They think you're going to eventually come back to them. They feel like eventually you're going to break your signs because maybe in the past you have done that. Um, maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, okay. So we have the emperor, we have the star, we got the five of wands, and then we also have the sun. You don't understand what you're doing to this person's ego. You just don't get it. You, you, you don't know. You just don't know, man. What you're doing to this one's ego over here. You know, this is somebody who really does think highly of themselves. Nothing wrong with that, right? Um, but I feel like they're harnessing the energy of like, how dare they not want me? <laughs> how dare they reject me? You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm I'm all that in a bag of chips. Like, who does Scorpio think they are? Huh. You know, it has that type of, you know, feel to it. And I listen, I feel like, listen, I feel like this person thinks very highly of themselves. And I think that that's great. They think that we should all think highly of ourselves. Nothing wrong with, you know, them thinking highly of themselves. But I feel like by you ignoring them, like you're really like bruising this person's ego. Okay. Because they think so highly of themselves and because they think that they're like the hottest thing that that has hit God's green earth, the audacity of you to ignore them, Scorpio, the audacity of you to not want anything to do with them. Like that's, they're not receiving this fucking rejection from you so well. They're just not. It's really hurting their ego. It's really hurting their ego. They're also falling into this energy of like, yo, like, you don't understand how many men want me right now. You don't understand how many women want me right now. Like who does Scorpio think they are? Well, 
I don't know. I don't know who Scorpio thinks they are. I don't know. You know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups. Um, and then we also have the Ten of Pentacles. I swear, every I, I can't make this shit up. You know what I mean? You're going to hear from them again. That's besides the point. You're going to hear from them again. Okay. You're going to hear from them again. And again, they're falling into this energy of, now nah, that's it. Like, if they don't text me back this time, yo, I'm never going to, like, hit them up ever again. I'm never going to hit them up ever again, right? So then they started telling themselves these lies. I'm never going to hit them up again. I, I swear, I'm never. If they don't text me back, yo, I'm done with them for real, for real this time, right? And then they text you, and then you don't text them back because that's just what they've been experiencing here. Um, and then they eventually start falling into this energy of, like, all right, Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna text them like one more time. Just just one more time. And if they don't text me back, like no, seriously, like this time for real for real, I'm done. Like I'm uh, uh, uh. honey. This poor person, I feel bad for them because they're really going through it. Like, they're really, really, this poor person, man, like, they're really going through it. Like, this whole you not talking to them and you ignoring them, the audacity of you, Scorpio, how dare you not text them back? You know what I mean? It's like, they don't even know what to do with themselves at this point. They don't even know what to do with themselves at this point. You know, it's like one of those situations where it's like, they want someone that they can't have. You know what I mean? They want somebody that they can't have. I don't know why they can't have you, Scorpio. I don't know. I don't know why you won't let this man have you or this woman have you. But it's driving them freaking bananas. You know, it really, really is. I'm sorry. Let me let me turn my phone off. One second. So yeah, Scorpio, the audacity of you to not text them back. You know what I mean? Um. Anyways, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. We got the Knight of Pentacles out here. Dude, I just feel like you're so lost in your own world. It's not even freaking funny. Here you got this whole human being here that doesn't even know what to do with themselves at this point because, you know, you refuse to talk to them, right? Um, dude, I just, I just, I just feel like you're so unaware that this person's kind of going insane because you refuse to talk to them. Like, I feel like you're so unaware that that's what this person's going through. But I feel like it's because you're not paying this person any mind, to be completely honest. And on top of that... You know, for some of you out there, you might just have this person blocked. So you you probably don't even know that this person is trying to get a hold of you. You know, that's a possibility. And it would make sense, right, if you do actually have this person blocked because therefore you wouldn't even know if they're trying to contact you or not. But, dude, I just feel like you're so damn lost in your own world. It, it, it's not even funny. You're so lost on, you know focusing on your career your business if you have one your growth your expansion like you're just so lost in your own world to even notice that you got a whole human being here going freaking bananas because you refuse to talk to them and i can't get off of that like this person is sitting in this energy of like yo like yo like i I could have any woman I want right now. Like, who does Scorpio think they are right now? Or I could have any man that I, you know, or any man or woman, whatever, whatever they like. You know what I mean? Like, I could have anybody I want right now. Like, who does Scorpio think they are? Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like this person is just not used to people rejecting them. They're just not used to it. Like, they're just so used to, like women drooling over them and the fact that you're not drooling over them that they're just like yo who the who the hell the scorpio think they are they better start drooling over me like it has that type of flavor to it dude it has that type of flavor to it it's like they're looking at you like yo who do you think you are like why aren't you drooling over me why aren't you obsessed with me why aren't you chasing me down like who do you think you are you know what i mean i keep wanting to say that who do they think they are you know oh man all right, we have the Page of Swords, we got the Page of Wands, and then we also have the Wheel of Fortune, Jesus. The bottom of the deck, I feel like this person is going to do something to get your attention. And I don't know why, but I think it's going to bring, I think it's going to slap like a whole fucking smile on your face. I'm being honest. And listen, 
listen, this, but this between you and I, this person doesn't need to know that this grand gesture that they're about to make in your direction is going to slap a whole fucking smile on your face. It's between you and I, okay? Don't let them see you this way, okay? Um, because the moment that they see you freaking smiling or cheesing over whatever this grand gesture is that they're about to make in your direction, it is going to so stroke this person's ego. It's not even fucking funny. So you better not let this person see you smiling, okay? Okay. Anyways, they're about to make this grand gesture in your direction, I am definitely getting that. And I don't know, dude, but I feel like, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's going to slap a whole smile on your face. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I do feel like it's going to slap a whole smile on your face. It is. It is. I just got, I can't believe they still have it. I can't believe they still have it. I'm also getting that. I don't I, I I don't know what that's about though. Did you buy this person something or something? Cause not only do I see them making like a grand gesture in your direction, I feel like they're showing you something. Like, oh look, like, look, Scorpio, look. I feel like this person they still have it. But I feel like it's something that you gave them. It's something that you gave them. I don't know if you bought this person like a gift or whatever have you, but like they still have it. I don't know what the fuck that's about though. And I'm not going to even give myself a migraine trying to figure out what it is that they still actually have. It's something tangible. Obviously, it's something that you could hold. It's something that you could touch. Um, so to me, this feels like you gave them some type of gift in the past and they still have it till this day. I am getting that. Um... But I want to look at this grand gesture because I feel like this person is about to make a grand gesture in your direction. And homie, not only, not only do I think it's going to cause you to break your silence, but I feel like it's going to slap a whole smile on your face, homie. I do. I really, really do. I do. I do. We have the temperance card, we have the nine of swords, and then we also have the six of wands. There's this energy of them feeling like really impatient is kind of what I'm getting. It's an energy of feeling really impatient. Um, are they having something delivered to you? They could have something um, being delivered to you. I am definitely getting that. But it's like, oh God. Hurry up, hurry up, just fucking hurry up. Like, I keep, I keep, uh, and it has a lot to do with this grand gesture that they're trying to make in your direction. It's like they're starting to, it, it, it's like a combination of them being really excited, but it's also like a combo of like, hurry the fuck up and just fucking deliver this shit already to Scorpio already is kind of what I'm getting. I do feel like it's going to cause you to break your silence, so I am getting that. Like, I do feel like it's going to cause you to break your silence. Um, I, yeah, I am, I am definitely getting that strongly. All right, then what's going to happen between these two? We have the King of Wands. We got the Ace of Swords. And then we also have the Five of Cups out here. Yeah, I feel like this grand gesture that they're going to make in your direction, it is going to cause you to break your silence. But I am definitely getting um, you witnessing a whole new side to this person that you've never actually witnessed before. This, to me, feels like a very vulnerable state that they're in, actually, um, which is kind of fucking surprising, to say the damn least, because... You know, the more I was like looking into this person, the more I'm just like, yeah, this one over here has a shit ton of ego and pride. Um, and they typically like to operate from a place of ego and pride. They don't like to operate from like a soul level. And the fact that they're actually operating from a soul level. How do I explain it? It's just weird to see them in this type of like lighting because it's like they go from like operating from a place of ego and pride to like operating from like a soul level and it's just it's weird seeing them operate from a soul level um it's weird seeing them this vulnerable it's weird seeing them this emotional 
it's weird hearing the stuff that are coming out of their mouth like it it's just there's it's i know that it sounds weird but this is weird like this is very weird it's strange because it's like Maybe to you, that's how you're going to look at the whole situation and process it. Like the moment that this person starts becoming all vulnerable and coming from like a soul level, like you're going to look at it like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Like, did this person just tell me that they missed me? They've never fucking told me that before. Did this person just tell me that they love me? They've never fucking said that before. You know, like, I, I just, it's weird. Like, I just, I feel like this person is telling you things that they've never told you before. Um, the fact that they're even being vulnerable is just weird in itself. And I feel like you're going to be like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with this one here? Like, I, I am getting that. That it's just going to be a very, like, new moment i guess you're gonna find yourself experiencing with this person i guess scorpio because i feel like you're so used to them being all fucking prideful and shit so the fact that you're seeing this whole other side to them you're just like what you're gonna be like a fucking deer in a damn headlights you're gonna be like what the fuck like i i feel like you're gonna look at them like they have 10 heads like are, are you okay <laughs> like are you okay like okay Okay, we got the High Priestess, we got the Ten of Wands, and then we also have the Six of Pentacles. I don't know, dude. I just feel like this person is going to tell you something that they've never told you before. You know, I like you. I like you a lot, and here's why. Because I feel like you have this ability... You just have this ability to, like, shatter this person's fucking ego is what it is. Like, you just have this ability to, like, shatter their ego is basically what I'm getting. And I don't feel like they've ever met somebody like you that had the ability to just shatter their ego before. I just, I, I, I don't. You know, I just don't feel like they've ever met someone like you. I just, for the life of me, I just don't. I, I really, really don't. I feel like this whole, like them operating from a place of like ego and pride is concerned with you like i feel like because you are the way that you are and because you're moving the way that you have been moving within this relationship is kind of like the epitome right like let's just say if this person's ego and pride was like a glass window here you are just throwing stones at it over and over again until it basically shatters um you know causing this person to fall into this state of vulnerability is basically what i'm getting and operate you know what i mean from like a soul level which is something that they're not used to operating from i don't know this is just this is just using a whole new side to this person like i feel like this person's gonna confess things to you that they haven't confessed to you in the past especially when it comes down to their feelings okay because this is somebody who also doesn't like to live in their emotional body so the fact that this person's operating from a soul level and they're operating from their emotional body it's just it's it, it's 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 just it's just something you've never seen before you know what i mean it's just something you've never seen before okay so well you know listen I don't feel like your whole mission, you know what I mean, and purpose was to shatter their ego. No, I don't. I just think that you're very different from all these other chicks or all these other dudes. And they just, you know, they just can't take it. You know what I mean? They just can't handle it, you know, is what it is. And again, I just, I don't feel like you are on a mission to shatter their ego but you're shattering their ego. Like, the fact that you're not talking to them, like, you're shattering their ego. The fact that you're ignoring them, you're shat... You, you know, you're, you are shattering this person's ego. And it's forcing them to, like, approach you in a way that they've never approached you in. And I just... I can't get... I can't emphasize this enough. Like, you're going to be so taken back by it, it's not even funny. Because you're just so used to, like, this tough exterior of theirs. You're just so used to this... I don't give a fuck about anything type of like attitude that they carry around with. So to see them in this type of vulnerable like space, it's like, it's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's going to be a new experience. It's going to be a new experience, you guys. But I feel like as far as this grand gesture is concerned, 
I feel like I feel like this was a nice move on their part. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give it to them. I feel like this was like a nice move on their part because it is gonna slap a whole smile on your face, but it's also gonna cause you to like break your silence. So I do feel like this was like a, a well played, nice move on their part. I will I will give them that. I will definitely give them that. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.